welcome to tangling along with me we are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and today it is this pattern right here that we are going to work with so let me open up my book and see what i can figure out here um i have a tiny room here i have a bigger room here and i have something here in between i have a line down there i don't like that one I'm just gonna do like that um and the step out for this one it is kind of in a grid because it has been drawn onto some of this um dotted paper so you have this kind of grid before you start uh we don't have that on normal uh drawing paper so I am going to take my pencil and make a grid first because I think this will make it easier because uh, it be uh, quite different because uh, it will be quite difficult to make this one without the grid. Um, so I am going to I actually think I'm going to take this weird shape here and I'm just uh, going to make my grid here in this one. And I'm making my grid a tiny bit bigger than I normally do. Because uh, we need quite a lot in here. Or not a lot, but a bigger flower. Oops, that was kind of smallish. There we go. I like that better. There we go. I don't know if you can see my grid, but I do. And uh, I don't want it to be too visible because I want to be able to see it myself and then just be able to let it kind of fade out behind what I'm doing so I don't have to erase it. But if I have to erase it, I will do so. I am using my black Micron PN for this one. So I'm going into the middle of one of these and I'm just making a tiny dot so I know where the middle is. And then I am making my flower in this little grid here. And the inside flower, we're going to make that one. But I think I'm going to do mine um, in all red instead of having the outline of it. So I'm just going next to that one in my grid and making a flower that kinds of touches the one we have at the start one. And now I have to find my own, own grid. It's like ending right there. So I have one up here. I have quite a lot of light on me so that I can record what I am doing. But that also means that my uh, graphite line can be hard to see for myself. So I'm just going to make a flower in each of these boxes and I'm making sure that my petals are uh, hitting the other petals of the other flowers. So I'm just working my way around in these boxes that we have. have one here and you can see that the bigger your boxes the easier it is to do these flowers. So that would be around here. I think I just made my boxes bigger by mistake. But oh well we will make it work. And here going up hitting the other flower petals. I'm gonna make this one a whole flower even though that I am going over my line. I'm not gonna do it right here. I'm just gonna leave it like that. There we are, so that's the first part. Then there is kind of a um, orb here in between the, f 
flower petals. Not where all the flower petals meet, but everywhere else. So down here, all the way down, and here, all the way down, and over here, not there, and here. Like that. I think I got the most of those. And then to get the pattern done, I am going to take my Micron 03, and that's a red one. And I decide to make this inside leaf or a petal here red. So I'm just coloring it in. You can just draw it in there if you want to, but I want it red and I like to get it without the outline this time. So I'm just coloring it in there. And now you're all screaming, you forgot that one. And yes, I did. There it is. And over here. here can be a tiny bit bigger I'm just taking it easy and enjoying every step on the way It's not about getting uh, done really, really fast. It's about uh, the road of the the pin, where it is going and what it is doing right now. And you are always welcome to pause the video and do uh, the pattern before you continue. Or you can skip ahead if you're faster than I am. You might have a smaller space than I do or maybe even a bigger. So that's a good thing about videos on YouTubes. YouTubes. YouTube. Anyway, I hope you are all doing very well. And I just want to say I'm enjoying making these videos with you guys. I am going to take my black micron PN again because I want to kind of color in here around these orbs. So that you have the black background behind the orbs. You 
can do this little room there as well but I think I'm gonna do that part white when I'm done with the black here. down here so relax in your hand breathe the lower part right here as well. There we go. And I'm going to take my white charcoal, no, my white uh, jelly roll, not charcoal, and I am just gonna pop in a tiny bit of white here in these small parts between the flowers. But you don't have to do this. here that I skipped. There we go. And that's the pattern for today. Now we are going to take, um, where is it? Right here. My graphite and my tortillon for the graphite and I'm gonna pop in a shadow here where it meets the one from the other day. Taking my touchy long and just dragging out the graphite. Making this nice shadow here and I'm gonna do it on this line here as well. Again, I'm dragging it out with my touchy long. Like that and you can always put a tiny bit here in the centers of the flowers if you want to you don't have to 
but that's also a way to do it. Put that to the side, taking my tatillon and just softening out the graphite. There we go. So that is the pattern for today. It was this one right here and I think it turned out really really neat. I like it. Thank you for watching and have an attitude of gratitude.